Welcome back to GMA. Our next guest has taken science fiction and adventure to new levels. From The Witcher and Stranger Things to Enola Holmes. Now, Millie, Bobby Brown, and Henry Cavill are back as crime-fighting siblings, siblings, Enola and Sherlock Holmes, and Enola Holmes, too. Welcome, you two. Thank Welcome you. to Thank GMA. Uh, good morning to you both. And, and, and Henry, I'm going to start with you before we get to Enola Jones. You, you've done it all. You, you've what? Adventure, fantasy, drama. Yeah. Uh -huh. And now, uh, <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> but something I know I was personally excited about, you're putting the cape back on. Yes, Superman. Sir. But you said it was something that you always hoped that you could do. Why is Superman, why is that character special to you? The character is special to me because he is, he is the best of what we can be. Mm. He is the best of human potential, ironically. And it's what's so, uh, the character means so much to me because it was a formative part of my career. I mean, I was 29, 30 years old, hanging above a cornfield in Illinois and just feeling that, oh, this is what movie making is. Mm. And that is a huge, huge part of my career. And, and here we are, what is it, 12 years later? And it's, it's, it's back. And I get to do that again. And I'm incredibly excited by it. We all are. We mm -hmm. all are. And you know what? The Stranger Things fans are not excited about almost about to be your final season. They got the tissues out. You six years as 11. Do you have a sense of what you hope her character ends up doing? Well, shockingly, eight years. <laughs> I eight started years? when I was 10. Oh, yeah. Wow. So for me, um, yeah, it's half my life. It's most of my life, actually. Uh, so um, yeah, it's, 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 it's gonna be hard, of course. I mean, again, it's like my high school. It's like mm -hmm. I grew yeah. up on the show. Um, they're like my school friends, you know? It's gonna be hard, but I'm never gonna not see them again. Um, and um, I'm sure Netflix will <laughs> make it last for as long as it can. <laughs> and um, and I'm, I'm incredibly, like you know, you said, in kind of a different way, but it is just so, it's so, so much a part of my, my career and, and so formative and um, I'll always remember uh, my experience with Stranger Things. Grew up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. What's it like having a little sister, Ninola? It's, I mean, I'm from a family of five boys. And so uh, we're used to noise and making fun of each other all the time. And that's pretty much <laughs> Millie. <laughs> 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 so there's no real difference. <laughs> no, but I would, I'm like a brother instead of really like, I'm not really a sister. I'd be more like a brother if I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Enola is very much on, you know, she's like not as feminine, which I think is why people love her, is, is that masculinity within her that um, people can feel like they can resonate to, and mm -hmm. she's not afraid of it either. Let's give everybody a look. Tell me everything. A government case? No. Is there another Brixton Strangler? Or, or a periwinkle? Perhaps you tell me yours and I'll tell you mine. He's a ninny. I needed to know what he had on you. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm curious, uh, Millie, how much of yourself do you put in a character? Or any of yourself? Oh, no. <laughs> I, think I use most of who I am within her. Um, actually, our director, Harry Bradbury, is always like, Millie. <laughs> you're being too much of yourself and draw the line. <laughs> um, so um, it's, it's really nice to be able to implement some of my qualities, good and bad, in her. Um, I think I use a lot of humour as a deflection so that people don't know my heart in real life and in Enola. And I think mm. that's a really raw and authentic part of who she is. And showing her flaws as a woman is really important and something that you should embrace. And so I've implemented a lot of that within, within Enola. I love that. Well, we would love to uh, play a little game of rapid round with you guys. I don't have the accent, so it's not going to sound as great as we would like to say. The game is afoot, as uh, Sherlock and Enola would say. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Who would be the better at solving real life mysteries? Oh. I suppose it depends on the mystery. It does, because if it was something really age related. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's true. I would say you though, Henry. I feel like I feel like I would be very dedicated, um, but I would be like on my own kind of <laughs> excursion, whereas you would actually be getting to the bottom of the case. 
Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's more likely to be the troublemaker sibling? Mm. Oh. Yeah, me. Yeah. Oh, that was easy. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Henry is very focused and, like I said, dedicated. Me, yeah. I, I'm like, I'm like, squirrel! Like, it's like, that's me. You know, I'm, I'm one of those people. Um, so, yeah, again, Hen Henry is not the troublemaker here. Um, I think he's definitely the favorite on set. Okay, uh, oh, speaking of set, <laughs> oh. final one, who spent the most free time on set? Free time, as in, oh. I don't as know. In between, uh, like, is there, on there a free time? Is there free time? <laughs> no. Yeah, there's, there's, right. there's no free time. But, <laughs> <laughs> but during, like, like, yeah. maybe... <laughs> During, during setups and stuff, I mean, I know at Baker Street, I would spend a lot of time there because it was such a cool set anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun to make Millie look bad when I'm there <laughs> and everyone's waiting on her and they're like, oh. Oh, no. Actually, to be honest, in all fairness, Henry never left set. I mean, any time I would come on set, okay, let's go, let's roll. And Henry would just be sat <laughs> on set waiting. And I'd be like, what are you doing? Like, I, I, you know, I like to go back to my trailer. I like to read the lines from the, d the day before, or the day after. Like I'm, I'm more, I need to relax and decompress because I'm working every, every day. day for four months straight. So it's like, it's a really hard shoot. Henry would come on set. He's already there. He's looking through the magnifying glass. I'm like. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I just swan in for like a week and then leave again yeah. and come back a few weeks later. <laughs> we're, we're happy that you guys came here and joined us yeah. on our show. That's right. And, and Enola Holmes 2, it begins streaming on Netflix November the 4th. Make sure you check out Millie Bobby Brown and Henry Cavill, everybody. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.